Hi, this is Eli Brooke, and welcome to another video from Productive Style. Today, we are going to be doing a Creative Tuesday video painting metallic watercolor vines. So this is going to be a mixed media project um, using some watercolor, and I thought about using the metallic watercolors here, but I decided actually to add um, using one of the Sakura Jelly Roller pens. Um, I'll link all of the supplies down below, but what we're going to do is I have some watercolor paper taped down here with just some washi tape. Um, I've actually found out that the washi tape will tear a little bit, so I've linked a much better tape to practice with. Um, it's one of the actual watercolor masking tapes by Mr. Penn. I'll link that down below and I'll be using that one on future projects. Um, you'll see here at the end. But to start off, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to do some lines down from the page. You can see here, and I'm starting to add just leaves. I have three different shades of green watercolor paint, um, which is actually Gonzai watercolor, and it's from this really cool palette um, off of Amazon, I got as a gift, and I will um, link that as well. But these are a thicker watercolor compared to some of the other dry cake palette watercolors you've seen me use them in some other videos. Um, if you like watercolor, please check out some of my floral wreath and vine videos. Um, I've got a whole playlist of watercolor videos I'm creating here. Um, with the Creative Tuesday videos. So just creating different leaf shapes um, down from each of the vines. You can see I'm kind of mixing up the colors here. Um, you can do whatever you want. Um, it's kind of good to get a mix of the round and the pointy leaves and just different sizes um, and textures as you go. So to give um, depth to the leaves, I'm going after they've dried and adding just another layer of color. Um, these are not completely dry. Um, they've actually got a little bit of moisture still left on there when I'm adding that darker color so it kind of bleeds and blends. Um, if you want a sharper line, you need to wait till the paper is completely dry. Um, so on this one leaf with the little um, leaves, I'm going to be doing such some quick stems. Um, so detail brush, um, just one of the uh, kind of little fine liner brushes. Um, I'll link that below. It comes in a set. And I like these because they have the kind of grippy handle on them, so they're kind of nice to to use here and then I'm darkening in that vine. Um, just it's it's um, takes a couple layer of paint layers of paint sometimes um, to truly get the color that you want here. So I'm just gonna continue to add in layers and layers of color. This one sort of reminds me a little bit um, of one of the patterns of like Corel dishes, but didn't intend for it to be that way, but it kind of is the same color scheme. So it's kind of a pretty pretty fun, fresh kind of look. Um, and this next one, I'm going to be actually doing the leaves first and then kind of connecting them with the vine. Um, but you can do however you want here, um, just so everything is connected. I'm kind of going back and reattaching everything. It's the most important thing. You don't want any floating leaves. Um, but these are just fun little practice paintings to do. Um, you could add some flowers or you could, you know, just add whatever you want kind of hanging down from, from here. It makes a really neat look when you... Um, and you actually, uh, you know, have it in a frame and you take off the washi and you kind of get that clean edge at the very end. We'll see here. I love um, kind of the look of peeling things off and having it be nice and sharp and crisp. So just going to continue to add layers until it looks like what I want it to. Um, some leaves up at the top. So, you know, if you have some shorter vines up out of the, the frame of the um, painting that, you know, they're kind of hanging down and, sh and showing there. So... Um, if you like this painting, um, you know, leave me a comment. Let me know what kind of other paintings you'd like to see. Um, next month, I'm super excited. We're going to be doing some seascapes um, and just some really cool things in the bullet journal. I cannot wait to share that with you. I'm using some new materials I've actually not seen used in bullet journals before. So um, if you want to make sure you don't miss that video, please like and subscribe. Um, and that way you'll get a notification if you click the little bell. Um, so here, I'm using that Secura. Um, jelly roller pen. These are awesome. Well, you have one tip here. You have to wait on it to be completely dry because you don't want it to kind of blend or get watercolor on your pen. But once the paper is completely dry, um, you can go in and just draw over just about anything. It's, it's not quite like a Sharpie, but it's very similar. Um, and it gives this really cool metallic sheen. So I'm adding details on the leaves. I'm just pretending I'm doing a sketch almost over top of that, throwing in some metallic leaves and vines on their own. And I just love the contrast here with kind of the flat paint and then the metallic sheen of the, the Jelly Roller pen. So 
you can kind of fill in and, and doodle and do what you want. Um, it's kind of a cool technique to, to doodle over watercolor. Um, I love kind of the look it gives. It's, it's, you know, just a little bit more, I don't know, fun and lighthearted, I guess. Um, so you can kind of keep, um, keep watching as we go along. Um, you know, outlining some of the leaves. Some of the leaves I'm kind of drawing in, like the veiny parts of them. Um, others I'm just adding some gold leaf accents. So you can try a variety of different techniques here or keep it consistent if you want, um, you know, kind of a more uniform look. So I'm just um, going to be finishing that out as we go. Um, and one of the things that I'm really looking forward to um, is my upcoming July plan with me. Like I said, new materials, new spreads, whole new notebook size. So I've been doing A5 notebooks for planning for quite a while. And um, it's a good size, but I decided to try something different. I'm going for an 8 by 8 square. So um, it's going to give a little bit more flexibility on some of the spreads and um, will be something a bit different. <laughs> so a little bit heavier notebook to carry around, but um, I'm still um, doing some work from home for right now. So it's a great opportunity to kind of, you know, plan and um, take advantage of some of those larger notebooks because sometimes you just have a lot of notes that you can't quite fit in that smaller A5 kind of size. So um, anyway, just, you know, as we're going through here, here we go. We've got the big reveal. We've added all the little squiggles and lines and gold accents. So you can, can't really see it there, but the paper did tear just a bit. So I'm going to link a much better option. I've been experimenting with watercolor tape. So I hope you liked this video. Take the time to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining today. Leave a comment. Let me know how your day's going. Thanks. Bye.